All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And yes, uh, we don't reach the point where we will talk to our better guest. And we talk, say yes, we're always giving her the best of all these conversations because a lot of us, they won't, won't know what happens to some of our artists when they're abroad. And we say, okay, let's talk about, uh, let's talk to someone who is in the diaspora where they do music and instead get better, better vibe to also show. We're speaking with Sammy Dublin this morning on the Good Morning Ninja Show. And uh, he's an exceptional, award winning artist best at his field, does what he does, and he does it, he's the best at what he does. So we're going to be speaking to this uh, individual right now. Sammy Dublin, are you there? Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, my brother? Fine. Okay. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing great. Uh, it's always a tradition on the show that I ask my guests how they are doing because I know that there is a pandemic. We all know there's a pandemic. A lot of things have changed in the world. Some things were unexpected and, you know, moving forward. So I'd like to know, how are you honestly, looking at all that has happened, how are you honestly? <laughs> to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I'm just praying for I... everything. I want the world to be back to normal. That's mm. my prayer mm. you get. I know a lot of people are feeling pain. You get, I know it's hard for so many people. You okay. get. Mm -hmm. So I'm just praying. All I can do is to just keep praying for everything to get back to normal. Nice. So, so do you ever think we're going to get back to the regular normal, or are we just going to move on from here? What do you think? I feel with God, I feel everything is possible. Mm -hmm. Definitely, we're going to get back to normal. Okay. So about uh, your name, Sammy Dublin. Why Dublin? What's uh, what's the what's the idea behind? The name Sammy Dublin. Uh, Sammy Dublin all started all, all started from from the streets. Okay. Yeah. We're back in Nigeria. All started from the streets. You get oh. because of the swag. Yeah. Everything you get so. And they, they just felt the... that doubling was what they had to call you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, it's so good. I just had to I just had to attach the uh, the doubling. Yeah. Because my real name is Samuel. Okay. So I just have to attach the Dublin to the Sami, mm -hmm. make it Sami Dublin. Mm. Okay, great stuff. So what, um, which uh, country are you in right now, for people who are watching? Where are you right now? What did you say? I said, where are you right now? Where are you currently? Can you hear me? I didn't get that. Which country? Yeah, I can hear you. Now. Yeah, you can hear me now. I said, what country are you in right now, currently? Um, Cleveland, Ohio. In Ohio, that's in America, right? You're in America, Ohio. Okay. So uh, let's talk about uh, your music. Let's start from there. Let's talk about your music. What kind of music do you do? And uh, why did you decide to even do music in the first place? Let's start from there. Um, I do Afro pop. Okay. Yeah, but I'm a diversified artist. Mm. I can jump on any genre. Okay. You get based on the inspiration I'm getting. At that particular moment. Mm -hmm. So, but but yeah, Afro pop so, is your major. Yeah, my major. Yeah. Afro pop. All right. So, and uh, the, the the reception. How do people, you know, um, accept your music? Seeing that is Afro pop, and you are in America. How do they do? They really vibe to it. Do they really connect? Definitely. There are a lot of Africans over here. Mm -hmm. A lot of Africans over here. Mm -hmm. You get. And uh, people that are non-African also listen to it, they vibe to it. Yeah. And they try to accept the culture. As long as it's sounding, sounding great, sounding mm -hmm. nice to them, mm -hmm. they have no choice. They just have to accept it. Hmm. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So at least uh, the, on the, the reception level, on a scale of 1 to 10, you can say like it's 7%. They enjoy the music? Yeah, I can even say oh, 10%. 10%? They enjoy the music. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's great. That's great. So, uh, have you been, before you moved to America, were you doing, you were doing music in Nigeria, right? Sure. You were doing music yeah. in Nigeria? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. now, let us, let's make a quick uh, comparison with music made, how music is made in Nigeria compared to how it's made in America. Let's, let's make a quick comparison. Is it, uh, is it more expensive to make music in America compared to in Nigeria? Or is it, uh, it's, you know, l l let's talk about that. Since you made in Nigeria before, you're making music in America now. What's the comparison like? To um, um, be honest with you, it's uh, kind of difficult. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, but this is, this is what I do. 
this is what I do. I still connect with my producers down in in, uh, in Nigeria. Okay. I, I I connect with them. They send me they send me beats. All right. I take it down to the studio over here to do some recording. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Oh, so you yeah. still get uh, producers here in Nigeria to send you beats. Oh, beats, yeah. interesting. Is it that uh, some producers, uh, the producers in America are not really rooted in the Afrobeat vibe that, that you sing? Or why do you still connect to Nigerian producers in Nigeria? They are great producers over here. Over here mm -hmm. But I still feel they can't really connect more to me. Okay. You get, I need that 100% connection. You get, that's why I have to just connect back to the producers here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Give me what I want. And now, speaking about cost. Is it, uh, the, is it cost effective to, pro, to produce music in America than in Nigeria? How, how you spend uh, in production? Think about, speak about the cost now. Uh, to be honest with you, it's cost. Even okay. both in Nigeria, both in the States here, cost a lot. Okay. You get, it depends on the producer you're working with. Okay. You, get, you can go for the, uh, the producer with a lesser price. You can go for the one with a uh, higher price. It depends on what you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just Makes how it is. Okay, so it still, it still varies based on who is doing the work. It will be determined yeah, by who is doing right. the work for you. All right, then yeah. uh, speaking about promotion, because uh, I, so I spoke to a couple of uh, artists who are, uh, there was one I spoke to that was in Russia one time, and he was telling me that promotion there is not as uh, tedious as it is in Nigeria. Like, you can just walk into any radio station and say, hey, this is my, my, my song, I want it to play, and if they have a show that plays uh, uh, international music, then they can put it up on, 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 the, on the charts or on the countdown. But is it also that way in America? Can you walk up to any radio station and say, hey, this is my song, can you play it? How is the promotion like compared to Nigeria? No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Yes, then. Everything has a procedure. All right. You, get, you can just walk down. Um, to the states uh, to a radio station and say they should play your music. No, it doesn't work like that. Hmm. So, so do you need to do you need to have a record label to do that for you, or must you be signed on a record label to be able to do that? Or how 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 is the process? You said there's a procedure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really need to be signed into a record label. You can be an independent artist. Okay. You understand? To be honest with you, everything still works with cash. Oh. Yeah, it still works with cash. Hmm. Yeah. So you can, you can have the money and be an independent artist and push yourself. Mm -hmm. But you don't, don't expect, going, expect going to the radio station with an empty pocket. I see. You tell them to play your music. It doesn't work like that. So, so you, you still go there and water the ground, as they talk about Nigeria, they water ground for that side. <laughs> That's how we do. Wow, wow. Okay, so let's speak about uh, um, the, the, the way you write your songs. Seeing the, the fact that you are in a different country, do you write to suit that country or do you still write the way you would write if you were in Nigeria? How do you write your songs? Do you write to suit the environment now? Um. <laughs> Like I said before, I do every all my music are coming from my inspiration. Okay. You get from the inspiration I'm getting. You get. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to join the uh, join the league, the people, the great artists that are pushing Afro beat to the world. Mm -hmm. You get anything I'm doing. I'm doing Afro. I'm doing Afro beat. You get. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get these people to fall in love with Afro beat. Get to listen to Afro beat. Yeah. The next thing I'm doing now is Afrobeat. Strictly Afrobeat. Yeah, strictly Afrobeat. Okay, all right. We're, we're, we're going to be playing one of your, your, your tracks right now. Uh, so, so that, uh, but, but before we, we do that, we would like to understand, uh, for, 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 for an artist who is there, what would you say is one of the major challenges you face being there, pushing your music? What's the major challenge, one of the major challenges you face? One of the major challenges, uh, one, I won't lie about anything, is the color. Color, hmm. Color and where you're from. Oh, so, so, so there, is a, there is a challenge that you are from Nigeria. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, tell us about that. What exactly is the challenge that, 
because you are from Nigeria, what kind of challenge do you face being there as an artist? Um, challenges, for example, when they see you, like sometimes when they, when they look at me, they feel like I'm, I'm, I'm black American. You get it. Yeah. But when I get to explain that I'm from Nigeria, you get it. They start thinking that I'm going to have a different sound. You get it. It's going to yeah. be different from the normal, normal uh, Lil Wayne, uh, normal Lil Baby sound. Mm -hmm. You get it. So they kind of uh, try to place you on a different platform. Okay. Yeah, because they also have an African platform where they play African music. African also. music, okay, okay. Yeah, so instead of put, putting you on the same shots with the, with the normal artist, they have to create an African chart where they can play African songs. That's, that's, yeah, that's just a challenge. Oh. Yes, and it takes, it takes long. Wow! For you to break, uh, to break, uh, break out from that, from that shot to the normal shot. Okay. Now, for you to break out, you have to have uh, like a fan base of the Americans, right? They have to. You have to have fans from America for you to break out of that, that chart where they put the Africans in. Is that is that usually the case? Your music must be able no, to. No, 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 no. Like you can have, you can have a million uh, of African shots. Okay. For you to do that. You get it. Okay. Uh, before these people put your song, they, they go online, they shake it out. Okay. You understand the amount of followers you got, mm -hmm. you get, and so on. That's how it works. Hmm. So they, they check your social media, see how many people are following you, see the kind of strength like, you have. How many people are listening to your, listening music. To your music, downloads. How many, how many, how many uh, tours you shut down, mm -hmm. and so on. Hmm. That's so, so speaking about the concerts now and, and the shows, do, you, do they give um, enough opportunity for African artists to attend, to perform at shows as you know, much as they should? Yeah, 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 uh, definitely. Well, most of the shows I've been, I've been going are all organized by Africans. By Africans, okay. You get it. yeah. So most of the shows you have you have African organizers here also. Oh, you get it. that's just it. So um, looking at the concerts abroad uh, in uh, comparison with the concerts in Nigeria, you you you've performed in Nigeria, right? You performed in shows in Nigeria. Okay. So now looking at the the performance there and the performance in Nigeria, how would you say? Well, if they if they told you pick one place to perform. In Nigeria or in America, where would you want to perform best, your biggest show? Where would you want it to be? And why? <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I would still want it to, uh, to be from here. Okay. Why? Why you would get, you want that? Because, uh, because I feel uh, Nigerians, you get they are very hard to get. Hmm. Uh, they can only support you when they see that you're doing great. Okay. That's only when they pay attention to you. I see. You get it. so it's hard for you to it's hard for you to go to Nigeria and just perform. That and hearing your song before. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna stand as people looking at you as a statue. Mm -hmm. But over here, if your songs are sounding great, you understand they have no choice. They're just gonna vibe to it and dance and show you love. Wow. So, so even so even if they, they they don't know you, but your songs sound good. They would flow. Go. Oh, I see. Go. I see. Yeah. So that's why you rather perform there than in Nigeria. But I, un I understand in Nigeria, if you are not big, they go look at you and say, yeah. "What is he singing?" <laughs> I better make it. They go make it. They make it. They go. <laughs> it's quite very, very sad. But that is the situation that we find ourselves sometimes. But I, I totally un un understand you. But now let's even talk about uh, the next aspect of this art: music videos. A lot of artists say it is expensive to make music videos. It's expensive to make music videos. Here in Nigeria, we know how much people spend to just shoot one music video, right? So in, um, in America, where you are, how is it shooting a music video? Is it very expensive? Is it compared to, to how much you spend shooting in Nigeria? What would you say? Um, to be honest with you, uh, it's very um, cost over here. It's expensive there. Are you serious? Wow. Very expensive. Why? So 
And I know it's very expensive in Nigeria also. Yes, it's ex ah, yeah. we know. We know in Nigeria it's expensive. <laughs> but mostly what mostly what people do over here, people shoot with an iPhone. I see. Yes, okay. and they just have to just edit and couple all the old scenes together yeah. and make it great. Wow. Yeah, and that has been epic lot. Have you shot a video with, with an iPhone before? No, 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 no. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. Because I saw a video with an iPhone and it was great. It was dope, right? I'm telling you, it was looking great. Wow. Yeah, so I'm trying to. So, <laughs> so, so, so to shoot a regular video with probably a good red camera or something, or the, you know, the high-end cameras in America, it's quite expensive to, to shoot that too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, mostly, de it depends on, on the videographer, I mean, the director, yeah. and so on. Yeah. yeah. So you have, uh, it varies. Okay. You get, you have different, you have different uh, director, different prices. Yeah. You get. Hmm. So, so. Wow, that is quite a lot. But hey, we decided to have this conversation today because a lot of uh, young Nigerian artists here are saying, ah, they want to move to the abroad and go and do music. Let them just move a beg. This country is not helping us. We're not uh, blowing, we're not blowing. So we said, okay, let's talk to somebody who is in America, who is actually doing music, and so that he can give us uh, you know, a full information on how it is over there. Like you've said, it is still expensive to make videos over there as it's expensive to make videos in Nigeria. The reason why you work with producers here in Nigeria is because this, some producers over there still don't get your sound. You're still not satisfied with the sound you get when they produce. So you still work with producers in Nigeria. And for the shows, okay, that's one. You rather perform abroad than to perform in Nigeria. And that one I understand. I understand. I agree with you because I've been to numerous amount, uh, numbers of shows in, in, in Nigeria, and I see how uh, artists who are not fully uh, blown get the reception. They don't get as, as, much as, um, as much reception as the big names in the industry, and I totally understand that. Well, uh, Sami, uh, thank you very much for this conversation, Sami Dublin. It's been great, and we know that uh, a lot of times people will uh, uh, probably look up to the kind of music you're bringing out. Can, to follow you on social media, what is, what is your social media handle so that they can follow you? Uh, on Instagram, yeah. underscore Sami Dublin. Underscore Sami Dublin. On Facebook, yeah, on Facebook, I am Sami Dublin. On Twitter, at I am Sami Dublin. Okay, so Instagram underscore Sami Dublin. Okay. Dublin. All right. All right. On Facebook. On Facebook. I am Sami Dublin. I am Sami Dublin. And on Twitter, I on am Twitter, Sami Dublin. On Twitter, at, at I am, I am Sami Dublin. Dublin. All right, man. This conversation has been nice, bro. Uh, we're hoping to see good music from you. We're going to be bringing you back again on the show, obviously, when uh, we have new projects, new vibe coming through. And we're waiting to see you in Nigeria to come and perform one of these days. And we'll say, yes, I'm Sammy Dublin on stage, making it happen. <laughs> by God's grace, I'm going to be there by God's grace. All right, brother, man. Thank you very much for this conversation. It's been great. It's been great. All right.